and welcome to this uh, exercise on uh, transformation by translation, rotation and enlargement. I hope you find it uh, useful and interesting. Right, here is a question. Uh, there are five sections to this uh, question, uh, so we need another slide to finish this off. Uh, the first one says to find the uh, transformation that maps uh, triangle T onto triangle U. Now, looking at triangle triangles T and U, the area seems to be the same. There's no difference in the orientation either. So this suggests to me that this is transformation by translation. Now, if we take any particular point in triangle T, now in this case the the vertex that contains the 90 degrees, I move that three to the left, negative, and four down, negative. Now we should get at a transformation by translation, and the vector is minus three, minus four. For part B, for part B, we're supposed to find the angle of rotation theta, and the point A in triangle U maps to the point A prime in triangle V. So we need to find the angle um, A prime C B. And if we use the term ratio, we find that um, we can get A prime C B by doing uh, A B divided by B C, and that will be 4.6 divided by 1.4, and that gives us the figure of 3.285714. Uh, the inverse of that number should give us the uh, should give us the theta value, and in this case it's 73.0 degrees to one decimal place. I hope that makes sense. Now for parts uh, C, D, and E, uh, in part C we're supposed to calculate uh, K the scale factor and A the coordinate of the center of enlargement O. Now what I've done is I've joined the equivalent points for triangle W and triangle V and those are in yellow and they all meet up at the point O so O is the center of enlargement. Right okay so in effect the point O is 10 0 so A is 10 as required. Now to calculate the scale factor K, if if, I, if you if you measure the point from the center of enlargement to C, which is a point on triangle V, and to uh, from the center of enlargement to C, which is the equivalent point on triangle W, you find that uh, O to C prime is 14 units, and O to C is 10 units. So if you now divide 14 by 10, you get 1.4 as a scale factor, so K is 1.4. Now we want to find the area of triangle U, um, which is the same as the area of triangle T. So we know the area is height times base divided by 2, so it's 1.4 times 4.8 divided by 2, and that gives us 3.36 centimeters squared. We now want to find the equation of the hypotenuse, hypotenuse of triangle U. Now the hypotenuse goes through the point zero zero, and the equation the equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c, and because the hypotenuse goes through the point zero zero, c is zero. Now we want to find the gradient, and the gradient m is one point four divided by four point eight which is same as saying 14 divided by 48. So, and if you then uh, simplify, you then have y is equal to 7x over 24, which, which then, because if you multiply across, cross multiply, you have 24y is equal to 7x. Now, I mean, that's, that's neat, that's a neat way of doing it, but you can also say y is equal to 0.291x, which is a which is what which is the ratio for 1.4 divided by 4.8 but 24 y is equal to 7x or y is equal to 7x over 24 is uh, a neater way of expressing your uh, equation 
Now, for part A, we have asked to find the length of the hypotenuse of an enlarged triangle, a triangle enlarged from T or U to this new triangle. And the area of this new triangle is 64 times the area of triangle U or triangle T. Which then means that the scale factor, the scale, the enlargement scale factor is the square root of 64, which is 8. And now we need to find the hypotenuse for U or T. And that will be the square root of uh, 4.8 squared plus 1.4 squared. And the square root of that gives us 5 centimeters. So in effect, the length of the hypotenuse of the enlarged triangle is now 8 times 4, 8 times 5 centimeters, centimeters. That becomes 40 centimeters. And I hope all that made sense. Please, please subscribe and I hope to see you again sometime. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day. Bye-bye now.